friends today we will discuss about wobble hypothesis that is a very confusing concept in molecular biology the wobble pairing actually relates to the translation it is actually a chain that appears during the translation at third nucleotide of the codon anticodon relationship we know that watson proposed that adenine should always form bond with the thymine and guanine should always form bond with cytosine this hypothesis was proposed in 1966 and there are total 61 codons for each amino acid means for each amino acid formation there should be a separate amino isolated tRNA so there must be 61 types of amino isolated transfer RNA present but this is not the case because there is some type of wobbling effect that is present in the tRNA look here the structure of the tRNA is shown the anticodon uaa forms the bond with the mRNA that is auu because this is the codon for the anticodon that is present in that particular tRNA but due to wobbling effect the third nucleotide can form bond with a different base with a different nucleotide that is not the normal case as you can see in the normal situation u will form bond with a a with u and a with u but due to wobbling at the third nucleotide that is adenine in case of anticodon of the tRNA the nucleotide will form bond with the cytosine that is adenine will form bond with the cytosine which is not a normal situation so in case of wobbling there is some type of mispairing between the nucleotides or there, there is some unusual pairing between the nucleotides between the codon and anticodon that is at usually at the third nucleotide and this results in the degeneracy of the codons as you can see that isoleucine the co codon for isoleucine is auu or auc so in both cases if the uh, third nucleotide binds to uracil or cytosine there is no change in the amino acid but the codon will be a different one so in other cases the anticodon that will form mispairing include uracil with adenine or guanine isoleucine or there is a modified form of nucleotide that is inosine inosine can form base pairing with adenine uracil or cytosine and guanine can form bond with cytosine or uracil so what is the advantage of this wobbling effect there are 61 codons so there must be 61 transfer rna but actually this is not the case you can see at the right bottom there are actually 48 trnas instead of 61 trnas 16 of these trnas are having the um, ability of wobbling and 32 are specific so there is less energy needed for the translation and there is no need of 61 trnas in this situation so the wobbling results in the degeneracy of the codons degeneracy of the amino acids and is a very interesting concept in the molecular biology